Hi, it's me, Ashley. This episode, we're going to talk about some news, go out on the streets, and give away a free t-shirt. Mininova is one of the leading BitTorrent sites and is one of the few that experiments with different ways for publishers to legally distribute their work over BitTorrent. Not long ago, Mininova announced on their blog that HyperMP, which specializes in digital video monetization solutions, is testing a new way of delivering in video ads, which might convince premium content producers to distribute more of their work on Mininova's content distribution platform. HyperMP is currently being tested on an amateur feature-length comedy titled Battle Therapy. But not everyone is happy with this decision, since the video comes in a one gigabyte executable file for Windows, which is a weird way to play a video. One of the Torrent Freak users even said, What kind of idiot would use this? Why is this site not completely bashing this technology? Totally BS. Big mistake, Mininova. Enjoy your dwindling numbers of users thanks to this. We emailed Neek, one of the Mininova founders, and he said, the point that many people miss here is that this is a trial of HyperMPs and not many Nova software. We probably should have stated this a bit clearer in the blog post. The idea behind this is not bad, but HyperMP will have to come up with a different solution if they want people to download their files. Seven Hollywood studios, which include Paramount, Sony, 20th Century Fox, Universal, Warner Brothers, and Disney, have teamed up to sue Australia's third largest ISP, ENET. The company stated that they are suing ENET for failing to take reasonable steps, including enforcing its own terms and conditions, to prevent known unauthorized use of copies of the company's films and TV programs by ENET's customers via its network. ENET CEO Michael Malone told Computer World that the company disputes those claims since they receive a list of IP addresses of the people involved in the breach, but they cannot kick a customer off the network on the basis of an allegation from someone else. The legal action against ENET was filed in Australia's federal court on November 20th, and the proceedings will continue December 20th, 2008. Fan edits are fan-created versions of officially available movies. What fan editors do is take well-known movies and re-edit them using sophisticated editing software and change them to the way they think the movie should have been made originally. Fan editors consider what they do to be a form of art, and they love to share their work with others in the community, something the movie industry wants to bring to an end. FanEdit.org is the world's biggest fan edit site and has been running since 2006. They have never had any legal problems until lately when DMCA complaint was filed against them. Boone23, the site administrator, said, he feels this MPAA action is a serious blow against an art form that is not harming the industry and was certainly never based on anything commercial. Now, let's go out on the streets with Stacia. Thanks, Ashley. I've just been going around San Francisco asking everyone what they think about internet piracy. Apparently, there's a lot more for than against it. How do you feel about internet piracy? Uh, well, I think it's, um, it's a problem because the music, CDs, and the movies are so expensive. It bothers me when people download entire albums. I don't have a problem with people downloading stuff to sample it if they, because a lot of times stuff comes out packaged too high of a price and uh, not enough quality. And so it's like, I want to listen to this one song. I don't want to buy this whole album. Yeah. And it's not, I don't think it's good business to package it all together like that and not really let you have a have good access to it for a good price. I feel fine towards it. I don't have a problem with it. I think it's because it like it takes away from like the people who need to make the money from doing it. That's why they do it. I hate it a lot because it means a lot of produce movie producers, music artists don't get um, to reap what they sow. They don't get to um, actually earn what they been working so hard for so I really I really hate it I think if it's online people should be able to share what they want to share um, I think it's up to the companies to uh, provide better security features if they're worried about uh, people using it and sharing it and I think especially in terms of file sharing uh, for songs I think it's uh, I think it's great for the artists have you ever heard of BitTorrent uh, yes I don't use it I have I do use 
she's a bit torn sometimes, mostly te for television shows uh, from the UK that don't get broadcast over here fast enough for my liking. You know, how are you supposed to talk about something with, uh, you know, people all over the world, uh, you know, online if you can't watch it when they do? Are you ever afraid of being caught? Yeah, well, now I don't use it because we got the internet catches for that in the dorm, so I, now I'm like, okay, I want to download the song, okay, I had to buy it. Not really. There's like 100 million people that probably pirate, so I'm not very afraid of getting caught. No, not not really. I guess I, I guess I don't really think about it. Um, not really. Like, I just like, sometimes we just burn stuff for each other, my friends and I. Have you ever downloaded anything from the internet? I haven't, because I... I just can't figure out how to use a computer. <laughs> have you um, ever received or given a burnt CD then? I have. Do you know that's kind of a form of piracy or do you not think that it is? It is a form of piracy, but I don't know. <laughs> I guess you hate it, but then you somehow get brought back. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for your time. All right, so we've heard a lot of pros and cons, so back to you, Ashley. Now let's take a look at the TV show statistics. So this is it for now, but before we say goodbye, I want to give away a free Torrent Freak t-shirt. All you have to do is send an email to competition at torrentfreak.com, write t-shirt as a subject and your first and last name in the email body, and next time I'll randomly pick someone who will receive a free t-shirt. Goodbye!